Hi, welcome everybody. It's Mike Newton in the Swing Studio here at uh, London Golf Academy. Driver head-to-head -head today, and I've got two um, pretty good drivers up uh, up against each other here. So obviously the very popular Callaway Epic Sub Zero driver, okay, which I've done a lot of sort of head-to-heads uh, with in the past. It's a personal favourite of mine. Uh, get some really good sort of numbers, and we're seeing some good numbers with fits uh, that we do here at the academy. And I'm going to pitch that against the Shrixen Z565. So again, no other good driver, probably Shrixen's best driver they've produced here. Definitely seeing some good ball speeds with this. Um, and maybe a brand Shrixen that isn't quite as, as sort of, uh, what, what would you say, in your face as maybe the Callaway in terms of marketing on, on, on the TV and, and um, online but still a very good product here. So I'd be interested to see how these compare against each other. And maybe there's a difference of price here. Well, we don't really want to mention price, but there's a considerable difference in price. So, um, but we're going to see how really how these perform. Both in stiff shaft, uh, Sub-Zero's at nine degree. The Shrixen's at 9.5, so pretty much identical on the lofts here. We've got GC2 HMT, so we're going to hit some shots with each, have a look at some numbers and see if anyone's uh, edging it over performance and maybe give you a little bit of feedback of looks and feel at the same time. Okay, so here's a little view from above in the dress position of the two drives. So we've got Epic on the left, uh, Shrixen on the right here. So Shrixen's very plain, very classic look. Quite, I would say quite a nice square top line there. Obviously Epic, a little bit more tech happening on the top of the club here with the, um, Oh, I can't remember what they call them now. The uh, basically to increase the club head speed there. Obviously, you can see that carbon here, so it's carbon titanium sort of mix on the top of the head. Okay, so here's the first shot with the Sub Zero. So nice strike there. Little bit of a push, but that would have been probably found the fairway there. Just edging that 300 yard marker. Yeah, 276 carry 301. Second shot, Sub-Zero. Good strike again, little bit of a draw here. So imagine this is gonna squeeze a bit more yardage out. There's a 300 marker. Yeah, a little bit more. 2.8 to carry, 3.05. Third shot, Sub-Zero. Again, another good strike there. Little bit of a push, but it's getting out there. That's the 300 marker, it's just flown over. 287 carry 312 total. Last shot there with the sub zero, an absolute bomber. Rip that one. Beautiful little soft draw, straight as an arrow. Firing over that 300 marker. Yeah, 284 carry 311 total. Okay, so that's the sub zero hit. Let's move on to the Shrixen. Four shots with that and then we'll have a look and compare the numbers and see if there's any difference on performance. But I'll tell you what, that's going to take some beating because that feels great. Some good numbers there, some good distances and quite a nice sort of dispersion there for me as well. So first shot with Shrixen there. Little bit of an overdraw but struck it pretty well. There's a 300 marker, so that carried at 275 running 306. Last tee shot with the Shrixen, and again, button that one. Very similar to the Callaway, finish on a real pearl of a of a drive there, way over the 300 mark, 282.314. Okay, so let's look at some numbers. So, Sub-Zero sub on the top, Shrixen on the bottom here. So, club head speed, a little bit more with the Shrixen there, which obviously bumped ball speed up a fraction there. So, a little bit more with the Shrixen over the Callaway. Didn't really sort of feel that, to be honest, that little bit of speed, but it is very uh, minimal. Launch is a little bit different, so a little bit of a better launch there, to be honest, for the Sub-Zero. You know, it is 9 degree, the Shrixen is 9.5, yet I did launch that a little bit higher. Okay, so a little bit of a better number with the Callaway there. Spin 2.3 against 2.4, so slightly lower with the Sub-Zero, but again, it is slightly, so slightly higher launch, 
slightly lower spin. We know that's a good um, formula there for distance. Again, slightly lower and slightly more spin. So that's maybe where we just see some differences here. And it's more carry as opposed to run out. So we can see sub zeros carrying at 281 on average. Strix was carrying at 277. Okay, so a little bit of an edge there with a sub zero. Run out or total distance 307 against 304. Okay, so distance wise, sub zero is just edging it, but we're talking four yards with the driver. You know, that it's not a lot, is it? You know, spins very similar, ball speed slightly up with the Strix. And all in all, quite a close set of numbers there. Okay, so as, as we've seen there, some very, very close numbers, and we're probably starting to see a little bit of a pattern here between all these modern drivers nowadays. They're all, if they're set up correctly, you know, and this is, again, goes to the importance of custom fitting, but if they're set up correctly to you, then they all, are, 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 you know, they're very, very close. There's not much in it. I think the biggest thing that's going to influence it is, is looks, is feel, and how you as a player will adapt to that particular look. Now, some guys through fittings, they pick up a driver, I can tell they don't like the look of it with the body language and maybe the comments they're making. And do you know what? They probably won't hit the middle as consistent. Okay, nothing wrong with the driver. It's just purely their personal preferences influencing their performance, their strike. Strike, as we know, I've done many videos on strike. It changes the numbers and, and, and you know improves numbers, basically. So and that's then when we start to see differences between the clubs. I think put all these in a robot, they're going to be very, very, very similar in the numbers. And to be honest, those are very similar there. You know, I think looking at the, the Sub Zero, you know, is a favourite of mine. You know, I am, I am play tricks in, in the bag with my irons and everything. Driver Sub Zero has gone in the bag for me. You know, it's, I do like the look of it. I like it. it's a very solid feeling golf club. Maybe a little bit of that jail breaks gives it that sort of very, not hard, but a very solid sort of sound and impact or feel it impact. I do get some really nice numbers with it. I think when I do drop it under that 2,000 mark, which again, strike will do that, I get some real long balls. Now, all of those have gone over the 300 mark there, apart from one with Strixen, which was 297. So really happy with the numbers of those. And to be honest, that Strixen, I'll tell you what, you know, it's a good performing drive. It's definitely the best driver they've produced in terms of ball speed. We've seen that again through fittings. Um, but I think really two, two good drivers, you know. Um, and is there any bad drivers out there nowadays? You've got to ask that question. So, you know, again, if you do want to go out and test these, do do it yourself. Obviously, go and see a good fitter, launch monitor, dial in some numbers, make sure it's right for your delivery, your strike, you know, and you're going to get the most out of a driver then. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel. Um, comment down below if you've got any questions regarding this video. Uh, share it around with your friends, and hopefully, we'll catch up with you all very soon.